So, so what's cool about this image, and I want you to think about, is that epifluorescence lamp is the right side where it shows, hey, some of these are glowing, some of these are not. Well, when you test EM, you'll find that there's no nitrogen and there's no phosphorus. What happens? What do we always say when we put in something with microbes and they digest it? What do we always say? They say they embody it. They lock it up, right? With EM, there's no predators. So the nutrients disappear from the solution and they're consumed. And then we can pull that. And then the phosphorescing ones are, <laughs> they are the ones that ate the phosphorus. So things that auto fluoresce at this wavelength of light using this lamp show us phosphor phosphorescent material. They show us phosphorus minerals and in the soil, calcium and phosphorus are mobilized primarily by fungi. And so that's why we can use them in a root situation to, because the abrusculo mycorrhizal fungi, remember they're so efficient at it. They're, they're the, I would say they're the most efficient at it. Um, judging and, and they're the primary, the, 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 the ones that primarily do this because if we look at the saprophytes, they do not fluoresce unless they're like ascomycota and that's a little bit different. Talking about basidium mycota. That tells you something about which nutrients they're focused on, right? And what you can transport and then unload. These tools change the game fundamentally. And so I've really tried to open the mind, empower us with tools to look at soil and compost anew and our biofertilizers anew.